Good morning, it's Monday the 4th of July and I'm in the garden. I'm about to put out the first of two loads of washing I've done um, through the night. So, I've got a cup of tea. So, I don't know where my Kindle is. It is here somewhere. I've taken it out of my bag and put it down. I think anyways. Because I've got to update my reading journal. I've done some of it. But I still got two, I think, more to put on. Um, this morning I finished reading Caitlin Doughty's Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? which I really enjoyed. As you can see, the reading is still going on strong. And my next book is Stephen King, Cujo, for my Stephen King of the Month. Classic this month is going to be The Turn of the Screw and Other Ghost Stories by Henry James. And that's upstairs waiting for me. I have my new Newport Playgoers bookmark, which they send out with the AGM every year. Basically has a list of all the, the plays on it. i got to be honest, I don't know where my card is. I'm going to have to find out. I've got my old card. But I don't know where my new card is. It's probably in the drawer. So what have we got going on? September 14th, Clue. October the 19th, One Night with Marilyn. November the 16th, My Fat Friend. December the 1st, Lion Rich to the Wardrobe. Cool. February the 8th, next year, One, one Act Plays. March the 8th, Snake in the Grass. That's Akebourne. I love a bit of Akebourne. Uh, and then April the 19th, we've got The Caretaker by Pinter. And then uh, May the 10th, Spanish Lies by Vickery. And June the 14th, next summer, Tennessee Williams, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, another great story. So some good stuff coming up now. I don't take part, unfortunately, at the moment, because Jennifer's so young. I will eventually. But there's a few there I might go and see, probably on the Saturday matinee. I still do Saturday matinee? Yeah, they do. So, yeah, there are a few there that I would like to go and see. So definitely I would see Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Probably the caretaker Clue. And we might go and see Clue because I love Clue. Uh, One Night with Marilyn, I might be involved in in some ways. My Fat Friend, Kenneth Williams was in back in the day. Yeah, there's some, some good stuff up there. So um, I'm going to get this washing out and have my cup of tea because we've got to go and get Zed in a bit. Next door, they are slowly working at stripping her house. I can see the garden is full of stuff, poor thing. Uh, mattresses and bits and pieces all charred and smoke damaged mostly um yeah but i know she's looking forward to getting back and i'm looking forward to having my neighbor back so yeah i'm gonna crack on and we'll go and get zed okay guys we picked up zed she's around somewhere um just i got these two books chris got me this one for my birthday this is marilyn monroe magazine covers collection there's a hundred pictures of covers of marilyn covers in this now i had actually ordered myself book five because that was the cheapest one just to see what they're like now there's a hundred in each one so it's 500 covers i'm hoping it'll do more because i know there's been more than 500 covers and yeah it's just a very small book of four covers per page and a hundred total and uh, yes yeah, they're really nice so yeah, they're really nice. There's one picture in here that's not her, I would guarantee, because I've never seen it before. But then, <laughs> finding it's not easy. So they seem to be in chronological order of when they were published. What I like about these is going through them and seeing which books I've got. So you see what I mean? Let's see if I find it. So for instance, I've got this one here. Oh dear. It's this frolic one. I swear that's not her. I know it looks like her. But there's something about it that makes me think it's not. I don't know. It's, there's something about it that's not right. So it's probably one of her, her copycats. Have we got any more of these? Not there. No. I do love, I love the magazines when they're on. I sold some of mine. I had that one and I sold it to a friend. I needed the money. I used it for holidays, of course. But I've got most of them. I only sold four or five. That one. First picture post I ever got. My first normal jean cover and it cost me a pound. So yeah, that's that one. And this is the second one, which is really nice. I will haul them in the book haul, but they're not really classed as reading books. So again, there's a few in here I've got, I would imagine. I think I've got that picture show. I might have that picture show. Um, he's dead. She is. Yeah. It's also nice to see ones that you've never seen, particularly if they're from a different country. 
<coughs> like we see, I've seen obviously a lot of the English covers, a lot of the American covers, and some of them I've got, but a lot of them all the foreign ones from like France and Germany and Holland and places like that you don't see very often. So it's nice to, to get them now. There's obviously that's one and that's five, so there's another three that I've got to get, so I have got a voucher from work. There she is. You back? Yeah. Anyway, I'm supposed to be shutting out the washing, so I better crack on with it. I'm shattered. Right, so got two loads of washing on the line drying nicely in the breeze. It's not that hot. It's close, it's muggy. It is the UK. What else have we done? We've got the cat, as you saw, put some washing away. Saw my mum and dad earlier. Popped over to see Paul's mum, Sally. She bought me uh, for my birthday this book. Max Factor in Hollywood, A Glamorous History. I'm reading it, it's really good. And gave me a voucher for the I know what happened, uh, which I can use in Waterstones, so that's probably what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also, we went and did our shopping. We went to Tesco to buy cat food and cat litter, and then we went to Lidl's to do our main shop. Got diesel, topped the tank up. Two pound a litre, diesel, two pound. Picked up Retro. Yours retro, we have Marilyn on the cover. Article written by Michelle Morgan. I'll be TikToking it later. Um, but now I'm gonna have my lunch. Okay, so it's getting on to bedtime. Jennifer is still up. She's been drawing, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. You're a good girl. I'm gonna watch a bit of TV in bed. I'm still itchy all over from these flaming mosquito bites. Some of them are getting better, like the one on my arm. It works. I know is um, better but the rest of them still hurting um, I also got this book today I thought I had this one but I can't find it so I can't have it so yeah it's a good day and I also got a very nice gift card from Paul's mum I don't know and this this book and a nice gift card which I can't spend I think I told you but I don't remember so so I'm gonna get into bed read a bit of Cujo and dry my hair see you later Good morning, it is Tuesday the 5th of July. I am trying to still upload the last um, weekly vlog, which is taking absolutely forever. It just doesn't seem what to do it for some reason. Before I do this week's, well this week's is still editing, um, rendering together. I've just been asked to clients, I'm on a better job, I'm at work. I'm just waiting for my, new, my other laptop to load. See, there's a big mess behind me of stuff, I need to sort that out later. Uh, there's, um, cards there I want to sell on eBay. I'm going to try and do some of that today. Whether it means sitting here and just listing what I've got and sorting out my lamp, that's fine. I'm happy to do that because I've got stuff ready to go. Um, yeah, so I better crack on with the job and I will see you after I finish and we'll, we'll see what's going on. Bye. Okay guys, I finished work. Um, picked up Jennifer. Oh, she's downstairs. I'm going to have to do a full stock take of all my clothing so I have no idea what I've got in there and what I haven't. So my plan is at the moment I am sorting out the washing from the holiday then I'm gonna go downstairs and have a sit down with Jennifer see if she's alright if she falls asleep or if she is asleep because she's gone very very quiet what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and sort out my lamp but I'm getting tired now but I've, I've put all her washing away it's mine now so I'm gonna crack on with that and see you in a bit so it's Tuesday evening and we're curled up in bed. Jennifer's watching a bit of gorgeous movies. I finished reading the Max Factor book. It was really, really interesting, fascinating history of how Max Factor changed the makeup industry um, and the makeup industry in Hollywood and for the general public, for people like myself, uh, men and women now are benefiting from the discoveries and strides he made back in the day. Hang on, I'm talking. No. I need a drink. You can have a drink in a minute. Uh, and now I'm back to reading Cujo. You're not, you're playing something naughty. No, I'm going back to reading Cujo. I'll no, see you later. You are. Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, dear, right, I'm just getting set up for work. I've just got to decide which laptop to try and plug in first because I don't know what team I'm on today. Um, what have I done? Not a lot. I did finish reading Cujo last night, really enjoyed it. I am reading an ebook now called The Memoirs of a Time Traveller on my Kindle. But I'm also going to start reading The Turn of the Screw and other ghost stories because it's 
a nice book and of course it's short stories so I can just read one every now and again throughout the month and then read something else so um, I ordered Jennifer a booster seat yesterday for the car um, and that took up the rest of my £25 Amazon voucher however Paul gave me half the money back so I'm going to work out exactly how much I had left and I'm going to have a look on eBay for some Hollywood related books that I want to add to my Hollywood collection. I'm sure that I know there's a few to put them in my watch list and if they're still available I might just order a couple and um, it won't be many but um, that's a lot of what the books I'm buying at the moment are Hollywood related because I'm trying to up my Hollywood collection uh, so I can start my Hollywood blog Hooray for Hollywood. On top of that, I've got a £35 gift voucher, which I'll be spending in Waterstones. I will probably buy a couple more of these, because these I want to keep. I don't want to buy expensive books that I am just going to give to the charity shop. But I'll get a couple of those, so that'll keep me going for a few more months on the classics. But I think I might also buy... Um, couple of Taylor Jenkins reads if they've got them. I want Malibu Rise in. I do want a copy of Daisy Jones and the Six so I'm going to collect her works in paperback because I really enjoy her writing style so I better get my computer logged on. Anyway so that's it for now. I will see you in a bit um, and I'll let you know I'm getting on with my reading. Next week we'll do a reading vlog as a lot inside the daily the weekly vlog uh, when we see how much we read in a week. <laughs> Should have done that when I was ill. Anyway uh, I'll see you later. It's alright. Finished work and we're now down at Dad's. He's just done the grass and it smells absolutely lovely. Yeah, just yeah, look at these. Wow, they're big sprung yeah. They're pretty As your cookies. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And Jennifer does. Oh, hello, you've come out, have you? I'm being attacked by raspberry bushes. Uh, you won't run and see how much he's on the blender. You're going to have a look in a minute. Cucumbers. Where's your baby cucumbers? I can't see them. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can now. There they are. Oh, little baby cucumbers. I see. Come over here then. Right. Wow, look at all these raspberries. Millions of raspberries. That's a baby one. They're tiny, aren't they? Look, very small. They're orange. They take just the flower on them, they'll grow into cucumbers, darling. Flower heads from Mom and Yeah. There's a loads more raspberries. I see, I went round there and I love my god, there's tons of them. Lots of raspberries, lettuces over there. Yeah, some more. Strobes. Yeah, these are just old ones, so they're a bit small. Yeah, it's all right. They don't go very big. I've got a bit of some compost that I've got to remove. Okay, well, we'll get you some. No, sorry, right. you have it. That's for raking up the grass, Jen. There we go. When you were little. Um, you were having fun, Jen. Oh, more sprung ins. Yeah, I put them in because I didn't know where, where they were going to work. But, uh, they're coming on all right. Yeah. And. Radishes. <laughs> I oh yeah, I can see yeah. Come yeah, right. on now. Mm. Cut it a Alright, I'm going. Oh, I love these. Come up there. 
The beautiful one. Okay, so it's uh, it's Wednesday evening. We've had tea. I've got the washing in. Packed the one order I've got. Hopefully soon I'll be getting some more. I know you can hear him making a noise. Finished reading the ebook. I was reading memoirs of a time traveller by Doug something Malta or something like that. Anyway, very good. And I'm now on the turn screw and other ghost toys. Now this I'm just going to read a couple, and then I'm going to go on to reading Marion Keys. So, and then when I finish Marion Keys, I'll read a couple more stories. So. That's why it's not too um, jarring. I'm going to get a few of these on uh, Saturday Mortons because I've got a voucher. So. That'll keep me going for the next three months or so. Uh, which will be August, September, October. So yeah, we're doing alright. I quite enjoy these. They're not really, really scary. But they're quite creepy and I like that. I like creepy stuff. So I'm going to read a bit of this. As you can see, Jennifer's playing with her uh, thing. Dinosaur. Where's your dinosaur? Where's your T-Rex? Right here. Show me your T-Rex. <gasps> oh, it's gonna eat me! He's gonna eat me! And then we're gonna go to sleep, aren't we, soon? Yeah. That's it, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I need two more days, and then it's the weekend. And I go book shopping, yay. I can't wait. Good morning. It is now Thursday the 7th of July. It's all kicking off down in Downing Street with pretty much the whole of the cabinet resigning. There's over 48 members have resigned of uh, whatever it is. Um, and it's looking like Johnson will be out soon. It's, it's basically untenable. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I'm just getting ready to start work. I've got both my laptops on so I've got to see if I can do my time card. Problems with it last time. And um, yeah, tonight, today's plan is obviously to work. One o'clock I finish work. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to do, start my stock take. So, oh, it's going to be hard work. And I also want to try and see if I can fix my lamp. So if I can get my lamp fixed, Tuesday I can do some photos. Now, if Jennifer falls asleep this afternoon, I'm going to come up and do some filming. If. She's very tired this morning, but she was yesterday as well. Because uh, I would like to do some time filming. But I'm going to crack on now because there's so much to do. Um, I just want to get on with it before I start work. So I will uh, see you in a bit. Hello everybody. It is Friday morning. I forgot to vlog yesterday. And I'm at the office because it's my day in, unfortunately. I'd rather it wasn't. I'd rather be at home. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep very well. I had really bizarre dreams. Very, very weird dreams. Um, I'm not going to go into. Uh, but they were just very weird. One involved Johnny Depp, which that was okay. But the rest of them were a bit weird. Um... Yeah, I'm tired. So, I'm only into one, so it's not too bad. I get done, I've got to take my dad shopping, pick up Jen, and see what's happening. <sighs> well, at least it's Saturday tomorrow. I'm going up the tower, as Jennifer calls it, and got a £35 gift for to go and spend a stone, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Friday afternoon, I'm sitting outside the nursery, I'm having lunch, I'm just eating a croissant. To my dad shopping, but then he had to go and get a prescription, so it took me a bit longer. I was stuck on a call. So I'm just eating a croissant now, waiting for Jem. She'll be back to 25 minutes. There's somebody already waiting to pick their kid up. I'm not picking her up yet. So, excuse me, I'm going to sit in the car and read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover for a bit. Shake him before going to get her in a little while, give her 10 or 15 minutes. She aches being interrupted when she's playing, so I don't want to do that. And, uh, yeah, she's got her new, uh, her new car seat there, look, with its cup holder out, because there's a cup that goes in it. Well, it's not a cup, she's got a, um, a drink, so I'm going to get her in a minute. Bless her. Let's see. And we're going up the tower. Well, we're going to change our euros back into pounds, and <laughs> I've got a voucher to spend, guess books. <sighs> More books. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she don't want to. Anyway, let's go. Hey, guys, it is Sunday night, and, yeah, I haven't vlogged at all today. It's been really hot. Jennifer's asleep. She has been out and about. She's been over her friend's house. Our paddling pool either has a hole in it and it's leaking uh, air out, or because it's on a, a slant like that, probably about that, bit more of a gradient than that, like that, that the water pressure pushing it down one side is um, forcing the air out of the bungs. 
so I'm not sure what to do. Oh, we'll have to sort something out anyway. Um, oh, I've got itchy ear. I've probably got some sort of ear infection again. I might have to uh, call the doctors if it doesn't clear up in a bit. But that's Sunday. Um, I'm going to do a TikTok in a minute of all the books I bought so far this year. Not year, this month. That's quite a few. And, and I'm going to curl up in bed and get this edited together so it can go up tomorrow. I've had one sale. That's packed up, ready to go. I'm hoping to do some photos on Tuesday of cameras. It's going to be hot tomorrow and then it's going to cool down by about two or three degrees Tuesday, Wednesday. But that's not a lot, mind you. <laughs> I'm dying. It's still 24 degrees here. I hate the heat. That's the end of the weekly vlog. And I'll see you next week when we'll do it again. <laughs>